Hey everybody, welcome back. So a while ago, I made a couple of videos where I tried to print with palm or Delrin filament, and I'll put a link to those videos above. I failed miserably because it warps just something terrible at anything but extremely high enclosure and bed temps. But um, it was kind of fun, and one of the things somebody suggested that I try was a palm or Delrin print bed. And I tried that, and while it did help and showed some promise, uh, it still, I could not get my enclosure hot enough to control the warpage, so that kind of failed as well. But a couple people have also asked me why I don't see what other filaments might stick to that Delrin print bed since I have it. Well, it took me a couple days to find it, but I found it, and you see it sitting there on my GTEC A10M. And the reason I've never tried any other filaments on it is because, for me, everything sticks, everything else I use sticks to hairspray on a mirror or hairspray on a metal, a metal, you know, bendable base, magnetic base, or basically hairspray on anything. And, and it'll stick and work well for me. That's been my experience. But anyway, I thought it might be fun to try it here, so I've got my Delrin sheet. Like I say, it took me a little while to find it, and this is a 1 8 inch thick sheet, and you can see it there. It says Palm C, and I have left one side shiny the way it came, and I have sanded the other side. And this is the sheet that I was using before. I'm going to print on my GTEC A10M because that sheet, while it might look flat, it's not flat. And I'm going to have to put lots of binder clips on it. And um, the GTEC A10M is set up with automatic mesh bed leveling. So that'll help me get, make sure I get, a, um, I get the best chance I can of things to stick to it. So let's start with, with um, PLA. I have two different PLAs up there. I don't think we need to try both of them. Let's give the orange a try because it'll look good on that, um, on that black surface. So I'm going to get this thing clipped down and leveled and we will um, we'll give it a go. Okay, here we go. This is going to be the orange PLA on the shiny side. I have cleaned it to make sure there is no greasy fingerprints or anything else on it. And it has been sitting here heating for a while so it should be ready to go. Let's give it a go. I'm printing a AA battery holder. It looks like a little beer crate. I don't expect it to stick, but you know what? It's got the fit in here because I need the space for the clips. Okay, so here it is. It obviously printed correctly, and just for the record, I used all my normal print settings. The um, nozzle was 210, the bed was 50. This was um, sliced on Cura with Chep's Ultra Fast Profile, and this is just um, standard Duramax PLA. Nothing special about it. It obviously stuck and printed. It was about a two hour and a half minute print. So let's see how well it stuck. Yeah, came right off. But it did stick well enough to print. So, with that being done, it printed fine on the shiny side. Do I really need to print it on the sanded side too? I don't think so. So let's get the PETG and we'll try that as well. Okay, I've got the black Jaris PETG. And unfortunately black is the only color of PETG I have at the moment. But I have it loaded in. I re-sliced it. Pretty much the exact same model, except with the temperatures and speeds I use for PETG. And here we go.
Well, I guess I can stop that because it came loose off the bed and it's just dragging it around. Let's get it cleaned up and let's flip it over and let's try the side I roughed up. Okay, I have cleaned my mess up. I've got the rough side down. Let's see if it'll print on that and stick. Okay, so there's the one that's printed in PETG on the rough side. I just made one mistake. I forgot I had um, support turned on, so these, these openings are filled in. But it's had a chance to cool down about halfway. Let's see how it comes off. Well, that was on there pretty good. So, there you have it. See if I can get my support out without breaking it. Nah, probably will. I'll have to cut it out. But there you have it. What will stick to a Delrin print bed? PLA and PETG will, should you, for some reason which I cannot comprehend, want to print on a Delrin print bed, you certainly can. You're going to have to figure out how you're going to keep it flat, because I bought a one inch, excuse me, an eighth inch thick sheet, and it ain't flat, and as you heat it up and cool it down, it gets less flat. So you've either got to clip the living crap out of it down, or you're going to have to screw it down or glue it down and that kind of rules out you flipping it over for the shiny and for the um, sanded side but I don't know maybe halfway sanded you know a much much finer sanding than this I think I used like a hundred grit on that but um yeah definitely sticks to it so if you want to there it is anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe Hit notifications if I've helped you out. There's a super thanks button down there. And have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.